Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen and welcome if you are new. I am Denise. Today is Saturday, so that means I'm going to be getting things ready for the work week. And I thought I would bring you along again. I'm going to start out by making my smoothies. I make these every week. On the weekend, I work four 10-hour days, so I need four glasses. So instead of making this mess every single day early in the morning, I just do it all at once and get it over with. Then when they're done, I put them in the freezer until the morning I need them. Then I'll take one out. I'm going to start with 8 ounces of milk in the blender. And then I put in some yogurt. Maybe a half a cup. I never measured this stuff. I just put it in. And then some honey. Maybe a couple tablespoons. And then one frozen banana. I break them in half when I put them in the freezer. A handful of frozen strawberries. Handful of frozen blueberries. And I put them in the blender and blend it all up till it's nice and smooth. Now I'll dump it into the jar of uh, my glasses. I found these glasses at Dollar Tree last year. I don't know if they still carry them or not, but I think they're the perfect size for a smoothie. There's one. All right, I'm just going to do the same thing here for the next batch and get this out of the way. Okay, friends, first task of the day done for smoothies for the upcoming work week. These are going to go down in the freezer, and I only have one mess to clean up. Okay, the fruit smoothies are in the freezer. Now I'm going to make my granola bars again. I need two cups of oats. A half cup measure. And I need one cup of crispy rice cereal. And I'm going to sprinkle a half teaspoon of cinnamon on here. And then I need two, three quarters of a cup of peanut butter. Okay. 
Now I need a half a cup of honey. just to take this off. There we go. Half a cup of honey. This is going to go in the microwave for 20 seconds. I'm going to take it out and stir it, put it back in for another 20 seconds, take it out and stir it, and then it's usually done. If not, another 10 seconds or so. You just need it to be warm enough to stir it up easily. Okay, that just took the 40 seconds. It stirs up nice and easy now. Now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. These granola bars are so good. Simple and delicious. Okay, now I'm going to pour that over the cereal mixture. Stir this up really good so it's all coated. Now I'm going to add in some coconut, shredded coconut. Maybe a quarter cup. And some sliced almonds. Another quarter cup of them. And then I like to do mini chocolate chips. Quarter cup to a third of a cup. Now we're going to stir these in. That all looks well combined. Now my glass baking sheet lined with parchment paper. This is about a 7 by 11 pan. I'm going to press it down in here. Now I'm going to get my fingers wet so they don't stick. And get it as evenly as possible. Down into the corners. And there's my granola bars. These are going to go in the refrigerator to firm up and then I'll cut them into bars. Simple and delicious. Okay, my granola bars have been in the fridge for about three hours now, so they have firmed up nicely. So now I cut them down the middle lengthways.
Now I'll cut them into bars. I get 12 bars out of these. I recommend this recipe. It's really good. I haven't bought a box of granola bars in I don't know how long. Now I wrap them in wax paper. Have a Ziploc baby that I keep them in. So I'm just going to get all these wrapped up and then I'll bring you back for the next thing. Okay, I have about a half a loaf of bread that is too old to use for sandwiches anymore. So I'm going to make French toast and put it in the freezer. The other night our dinner was French toast that I took out of the freezer. And boy was that good. So I'm going to do that again with this bread. So I just cracked five eggs in here. And I'll whisk some milk in it. And some vanilla. get my griddle here heating up all right get some butter on here bread in the egg mixture. Right, looking good. All right, got two more to do here. All right, I'm just going to get these cooked up cool down and then I'll bring you back for the next thing. Okay, our French toast is completely cooled. And I'm going to put it in parchment paper. and a Ziploc freezer bag. Separate it with parchment paper, that way they don't stick.
Now we'll have a nice, simple dinner one night after work. So I'm going to put these down in the freezer. And I'll bring you back for the next thing. Okay, friends, now I am going to heat up this frying pan with some vegetable oil in it. And I am going to fry up some, a chicken breast that I sliced up while it was still slightly frozen. I'm going to season it with some garlic powder. I'm also going to put some garlic powder in these breadcrumbs. And some onion powder. Put some onion powder in the breadcrumbs also. Salt. Pepper. I'm going to fry these up today because we are going to be having chicken wraps in during the week. So I don't want to have to fry this after I get home from work. So we'll take care of that right now. Mix up the seasoning in here, just keeping it simple. All right, now I'm just going to coat these. I'm not using any flour or egg or anything. I think I can start frying these now. It's feeling like it's hot. I'm just going to lay these in here and fry them up. And I have my heat on about a medium high. Give these a flip. These are looking beautiful. Nice and golden brown. Get my meat thermometer ready. We want to make sure they're at least 165 degrees. All right, I'll take a temp of a thick piece of chicken here. Oh, that one's done. This one, just about. I'll let them all go for a couple more minutes. Check this again. I 
Yeah, they're done. 170. The chicken tenders are cooled, so I'm going to put them in this glass container. And then on the night we have chicken wraps, chicken is already done. Just have to heat it up. I'm going to prepare this head of lettuce. Since we're having sub sandwiches this week and the chicken wraps, I'm just going to leave it in, in the leaves instead of chopping it up. I always take a couple alder layers off. it in my salad spinner. Soak it in water. And add vinegar. About a quarter cup. And I'm going to let this soak for two minutes. Okay, that's been soaking for two minutes, so now I'm going to rinse it with cold water and spin it dry. Hopefully it'll spin with this in. Quite a bit of water in there to dump out. Drier your produce, the longer it lasts. I always lay down a paper towel. See about this last little bit here. Again, I'll soak it in vinegar water for two minutes. Rinse it in cold water, spin it dry, and then I'll add it to that container. And then it'll all go in the refrigerator. So I'll bring you back for the next thing. Okay, I boiled up three eggs. That's all I have left in the fridge. So I'm going to make me a simple egg salad for my lunches this upcoming week. And what I do is put my eggs in the cold pan of water, bring it to a boil, set my timer for 10 minutes, and then I shut it off. Let it sit on the burner for a couple more minutes. Then I drain the water and let them sit in cold water for maybe five minutes. And then they seem to peel real easy for me.
Okay, find my pastry blender. I like using this to chop up my eggs. Okay. Miracle Whip. Squirt of stone ground mustard. Chopped onion. green pepper, and some dill relish. And pepper. This will mix and see if I need to add anything else. A little bit more mayonnaise. Taste it. Needs a little more salt. Mm, that is so good. All right, now I have my lunches for two or three days this upcoming week. Okay, last but not least, I thought I would make us a little popcorn treat. I have me this Rise popcorn popper has a stir stick in it, so I really like that feature. And I'm going to make some kettle corn. I need a quarter cup of coconut oil. Scrolling through Pinterest the other day and I found this recipe and I thought that would make for a good treat. So I'm going to get this coconut oil melted and hot. Got an on off switch in there on there. I'm going to put three popcorn kernels in there and let that do its thing and I'm going to need a half a cup of popcorn kernels
that yellow and white. Oh well. cup of sugar so once those cur three kernels pop I'll add in the half a cup I forgot I can't have this vent on here one has popped there's two Okay, now we can add the half a cup. We're going to pour the quarter cup of sugar over it. I don't think I'm going to go quite the whole thing. I'm going to let this pop. Okay, the popping has stopped, or slowed down anyway. So we'll shut that off. Put this cap on here so it won't spill or drip out. And we'll pour it in this bowl. And put some salt on it. You get that sweet and salty. Gonna shake it up. If it'll shake in here, I don't know. It's pretty full. And give this a taste. That is good. Yep, that is really good. I'll leave this recipe link for you below. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you very much for spending this time in the kitchen with me. If you enjoy this kind of video content, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.